Mm -hmm. Get out of my yard. I'm about to have your dad. Mm -hmm. so, my brother's getting married on Saturday. Saturday? And sis is the, mm, the flower girl? Flower girl. I think so. Yeah, so PJ is making her a little crown of, is this baby's breath? Well, it's fake flowers, but it's supposed to be baby's breath, a wild... Like, whatever that is, and then fake roses. Yeah. Cute, right? It is cute. Her dress came in, her little gorgeous little white dress came in a couple weeks ago, and we got it altered, and she's going to wear that. The boys are going to wear these black suits with black little bow ties. It's going to be cute. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why do I think you Mm-hmm. Are you guys excited about the wedding this weekend? Yeah, we're super cozy. Mm-hmm. I mean, you look super cozy right now. I'm well, <laughs> if you're getting hot, then you can't get cozy. So before we go any further, why don't we take a second to thank today's sponsor. Without our sponsors, we would not be able to make these videos for you guys. If you remember, last year we partnered with LiftMaster to give Thomas's mom, you can hear the kiddos, to give Thomas's mom some new garage door openers. And why don't we take a look back at that fun partnership. LiftMaster is the number one brand of professionally installed residential garage door openers, and they have been for over 50 years. The LiftMaster Secure View garage door opener is the first ever garage door opener that comes with a built-in wide angle camera and it has two-way communication. So last year with the help of LiftMaster, my mom got brand new garage door openers. Her previous ones were like over 20 years old. They were so loud, they were so clunky, she hated them. She described it as sounding like a freight train every time she would open and close the garage doors. But with her new LiftMaster garage door openers, they are so quiet. You can barely hear them. And they also come with a bunch of fun features. So as you guys know, my mom sold her house at the end of last year, but she did have time to enjoy her new LiftMaster garage door openers. And it was actually a huge selling feature whenever she was listing the house. Whenever we would do walkthroughs with potential buyers, that was one of the features that we always made sure to point out to them was that she did just have the brand new LiftMaster garage door openers installed. We told them about the MyQ technology and the app that goes with it. So that was a really, really big selling feature. My mom lives alone and she has for a number of years now. So being able to open her garage with ease and pull in and have it quietly shut behind her was super important for us. She could check on her garage whenever she needed to using the MyQ app. If she wasn't home, but she needed us to go check on something or pick up a package for her, she could open her garage door from her app, even if she wasn't home. Overall, it was an extremely handy tool for her to have. And it was actually one of the things that she was most sad about leaving behind when she sold her house and moved into the cottage that we were renovating. But she did enjoy it while she was there. We want to send a huge thank you to LiftMaster for sponsoring today's video. If you'd like to find out more about LiftMaster and all of the products and services they offer, you can check out the link in our description below. Now, why don't we get back to the rest of today's video? How's it going? How's it coming? Oh my gosh. I love it. I mean, honestly, you should just wear it. No, sir. Is that the plan all along? Yes. So let's play catch up. The last couple of days have been a whirlwind. Things are finally slowing down sort of right now. So Monday we had doctor's appointments and adoption paperwork and what else? What's Monday? Yeah, exactly. Tuesday was little brother's first day of school. So he's in pre-K this year and he started Tuesday. He was so excited. It was so cute. Waking him up in the morning and getting him ready and we all walked him to school. It was funny because he came home and he 
was acting differently. Like he was acting like he was, yeah, just like, I would ask him a question. He'd be like, no, or like, just say it in a very stern, like very sure of himself kind of way. I don't know, it was so funny. Today is his first day of pre-K. Good morning. Baby, stand here. Turn around there so we can see. Mm -hmm. Cheese or riso, riso cheese. Say cheese. She thinks everything is so funny. That bird's trying to get the kitty. Yeah. That's why it tried to guard it. Mm -hmm. Hey, Papa. What are you saying here with Daddy? Oh, do, do cats yeah. like to chase birds? They do. They sure do. Hi, crazy. Oh, crap. Do they really bite? No. The crazy is this. Oh, no. it, it like goes up. It's the first time you've ever seen one. And well, actually, I saw about. it on my iPad. Oh. So they're actually like camouflaging the weekend and there's a predator. Listen to it. What if it jumps in your face? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have fun? Yeah. What'd you do? Okay. Did you learn anything? Yeah. Did you make new friends? And teacher classroom. She has shells. She has shells? Yeah. Do you remember your teacher's name? No. Mm. Today, older brother started his first day of first grade. And he is like, a pro at school he just loves it so much so much he thrives he loves to talk and he loves people <laughs> and he loves to have things to do and like and... attention on him yeah and so i think even though we're excited for the younger two to finally get in school we're so excited for our oldest to go back so now He's back. The really fun thing is that his teacher is actually um, one of our neighbors. So we know her, we love her. So we feel like he's in really good hands this year. Day of school. <laughs> Are you excited? How was your day? Good. What'd you do? Play with puzzles. What's your um, teacher's name? Did you see her? Mm -hmm. Our neighbor? Yeah. <laughs> look at you, you look like a big first grader now. Hey, breakfast. What'd you eat? Uh, fruity with chocolate. Fruity pebbles or what? Fruity pebbles. Cereal? Yeah, cereal. Oh, and so chocolate what? Ooh, okay, so that was breakfast. Did you sit with people? Yeah. That's okay. That's okay, baby. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> after, your, after your lonely breakfast, what happened? 
So yeah, he had a great day. Friday is my brother's rehearsal. The rehearsal dinner, we have family flying in. My older sister and her six kids and her husband are coming in. And then Saturday is the actual wedding. Well, we're both so excited for the wedding. PJ was telling me today how excited he is, but I'm also very nervous because I am the best man. So I have to give, or I, I am giving a speech at his wedding. And, um, but I'm excited. I think it's gonna be a really beautiful wedding. And we're excited to officially make Mariah part of the family. That's that. Is there anything else? Oh no. Are we all caught up? Oh yeah. We're gonna go to bed. Oh no. <laughs> We're gonna watch TV. Oh no. You're gonna be doing that. Oh yeah. I'm gonna be tweaking my best man speech. Okay. Right. Good night. Is that your backpack? And that's your backpack? Okay, but I'm going okay. to school already. I stayed up so late to make your beautiful flower thing. So let's go look at it. Okay, let's put my backpack right there. Where, Where did I put it? Oh, I found it. So cute, it's so dark. Um, no. Don't mind me, I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> so it is Friday. My brother is getting married tomorrow. Finally, after a year and a half of delays because of COVID. Yeah. So last night, my family came in from all over and we all got together at my brother's house where we had yummy food and everyone got to meet the kids finally and it was nice we all just hung out together and saw family that we hadn't seen in years and the kids had fun sliding down the hill my brother's hill on these cardboard boxes that his neighbor cut out for them Smile, you're on candid camera. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Yeah, yummy. Are you in like, are you so excited about all this food? Huh? Have some. I made a pesto flatbread. Who didn't like it? Now I really like to have a brown knife. Alright, who wants to cook the pork? Oh, yeah. 
Heavy whipping cream, garlic, butter, salt, pepper, pesto. Oh, I look at water. Uh, what else happened last night? Good food. Yes, that was it. Yeah. Lots of yummy good food. And then at like 10.30 last night, PJ, or no. Your mom. My mom was like, it's so, I can't believe you guys are still here. She came in from outside and we we're like, well, yeah, we're having so much fun. And she's like, yeah, but the kids, it's so late. And then I figured it was, if it was me or you and we were like, oh my gosh, they have school in the morning. And then we were both like, ugh. Tay, Tay Tay lives about 45 minutes away. Yeah. And it was already 10.30. We're just so used to them not being in school for like ever. And so they just started this week. So we're getting used to like getting back on that routine of waking up early and going to bed earlier. But today is a half day at school. So, or it's really not even a half day. They go till, one goes to 10.45 and he got there at eight and one goes until 11.30. Mm -hmm. He also got there at eight. So. Yeah, I mean, they probably could have missed, but don't want to start that off just yet. But they woke up feeling refreshed and ready to go, you know? <laughs> so today is for getting last minute things for the wedding tomorrow for the kids, like socks for the boys and stockings for sis. And then tonight we're doing the rehearsal dinner in Chattanooga, the rehearsal and then the rehearsal dinner. My sister and her husband and their six kids are driving in as we speak. So that'll be exciting to see them. And yeah, I'm, I think we're all just really excited. It's gonna be a really fun weekend with family, celebrating my brother and his wife-to-be. All right, so we are here at the rehearsal for the wedding. The wedding of the century. <laughs> the I'm couple just kidding, just of the, the century. Um, and we're practicing the kids walk right now. He, they are all gonna be walking with my mom. And sis is the flower girl. Don't run, don't run, walk together. Maybe they should lock arms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be cute. Tomorrow she's gonna be like this. Oh, probably. Oh gosh. Yeah. But if she's holding yeah. something, she won't be she's able to. She's got her hand. She has her hand, and she but can't. Is she actually dropping flowers around. You know, that's a good question. I feel like she, I would love her to. I want pictures well, we, of. We kind of need to know because if they're not, they can all want arms, and that yeah. would make it harder for her to do that. Thank you all for being here. Oh, you're so much. When I met Mariah, I said, that's my favorite, and that is the one. So congratulations. I love you both so much. Yes. Tomorrow. Cheers. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Hi, guys. Yeah. Oh, stop it. Agree. <laughs> Okay, so today is the day my brother is getting married today. We are so excited. It's kind of a bit chaotic right now. We are running around, packing everything up, getting the kiddos ready, making sure we're ready. And then we are about to head to Chattanooga. It's like five hours early because there's lots to do. So here we go.
we've been practicing this little speech toast for a year and a half. Oh. When I put my makeup on in the morning, I kind of go through what I'm going to say. But I would always start crying, and so I could never finish it. So I decided not to write anything down, but just speak from my heart, which may or may not be a good thing. Taylor's cringing right now. <laughs> I know. Before I end this, I want to say thank you all for coming. I know some of you have traveled from New York, Michigan, Louisiana, Alabama. Not sure, but I like how it rhymes. <laughs> so thank you all. For, thank you all for being here and sharing in our joy. It means so very much. My name's Thomas. I am Taylor's brother, the best man. And I have thought about today for a very, very long time. Mostly because I always wondered who Taylor would end up with when he would get married. And of course, this wedding was delayed many, many times because of events last year. But also I thought about it because I hate giving speeches and I get really nervous, that's okay. Because today is not about me, it's about Taylor and Mariah, who I have the distinct privilege of knowing both of them separately before they knew each other and before their story as a couple began. And it's actually really crazy because they met right here at the Chattanooga Country Club years ago at my best friend Kathleen's wedding. And it's really funny actually how they each brought each other up to me separately after they met. So for Mariah, she randomly texted me one day and was like, um, why didn't you tell me that you had a brother and that he was so cute? <laughs> Which I thought was random, but I thought that was really sweet. And then Taylor, I'll never forget it, we went to lunch and we were talking and we were eating and then all of a sudden he gets kind of serious. And he's like, so um, what's the deal with your friend Maria? <laughs> and I was like, I'm sorry, who? And he was like, you know, Maria at Kathleen's wedding. <laughs> I was so confused because, well, I don't have a friend named Maria. And not, I mean, Maria is a lovely name, but I, I didn't have anyone named Maria that was my friend at Kathleen's wedding. And so I was so confused and I was racking my brain and then all of a sudden it clicked and I was like, oh my God, do you mean Mariah? And he was like, yeah, like what's, what's the deal with her? Like, does she have a boyfriend? What's going on? And he asked how I knew her. And I said, we graduated together from UTC. We both majored in communications where we had a ton of classes together and we had a lot of fun. We were editing videos in class and shooting videos and pretending to be news journalists. And I just remember thinking, every class we had together, this girl is hilarious. Like really, really funny and sarcastic. And her sense of humor would have me crying from laughing so hard. And I remember thinking, Mariah is smart She's confident and she knows her stuff. And I always looked forward to whatever class we had together. And I'm not just saying that because I'm giving a speech at your wedding, Mariah. I'm saying it because it's true, we really did. And you felt like a part of our family for so many years. And I think I speak for all of us when I say, I'm just grateful that today it makes it official. I love that you challenge Taylor and you open his mind up to new ideas about the world and how it works. And you compliment him so well that I honestly don't know where he would be today without you. So thank you, Mariah, for being so funny and for keeping things so fun all these years. And Taylor and I had a lot of fun growing up Whenever we were younger, I always wanted to be just like him because what little kid doesn't want to be like their older brother growing up? Um, he was smart. 
and he was confident and he knew his stuff. He always let me hang around him and his friends growing up, even though I was three years younger and probably annoying because what brother wants their little brother tagging along with them to the movies and to the mall, especially when you first get your driver's license and you're driving everywhere. But he did, he let me hang out with them and I always felt loved and accepted and welcome. And even now, if I need help with something, like for example, hauling 25 reclaimed barnwood red cedar beams that we found on Facebook Marketplace <laughs> up a mountain on a 22 foot trailer in the middle of the day, because PJ found them for a steal and we had to have them, <laughs> because obviously, but we didn't feel confident moving them ourselves, so who did we call? Taylor. And that's just one example of how he will literally drop everything to help out those he loves. Because when Taylor loves you, he loves hard and he will do anything for you. He cares so much about the people that he loves and it's one of my absolute favorite things about him. And I have always looked up to him, even when we were younger and I still do now even if I am two inches taller than him now. <laughs> I mentioned at the beginning of this speech how I had the unique honor of knowing both Taylor and Mariah separately before their story as a couple began. And now I have the honor of knowing how their story plays out as husband and wife together for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, as long as they both shall live. And if I know anything about Taylor, and I do, and if I know anything about Mariah, and I do, I know that it will be a beautiful story and a beautiful life filled with trips to Italy and trips to Costco. So many trips to Costco and a million pictures of their dog Coco on social media and tacky Christmas sweater parties and boat rides and all the things. So here's a toast to the groom, my brother, my best friend, my first friend and my role model. And here's a toast to the bride, my college classmate, my friend, and now my sister. I love you both so much, and I thank you for letting me be a part of both of your stories all these years, separately and now together.